Welcome to Tuesday, August 10th, 2021. Typical August weather coming our way here in the coming days. It's just kind of just going through the motions with warm temperatures. No one's breaking any records. It's just going to be August warmth. Haziness will persist as the pattern is kind of stuck at the moment. So the Northern California wildfires and the wildfires in the Pacific Northwest, that smoke will be drifting its way over the central and northern Rockies for the next three or four days. There'll be breaks in it, but for the most part, it's going to be around. Now, we do see moisture increasing in Arizona and New Mexico, kind of a little bit of a resurgence of the monsoon moisture flow, which will impact the region in some areas this weekend. And then high pressure is going to hold through the weekend, but changes in the weather pattern coming next week. Important changes, big picture changes with the jet stream pattern and the way the structure of the northern hemisphere weather is going to be for the rest of August into early September. Couple of things to point out, downright chilly this morning. These are temperatures in western and southwestern areas of Wyoming, Jackson, 34 degrees, big piney and Pinedale, big piney and Pinedale. They got to freezing this morning. Now you may be saying it's August 10th, that's crazy. How does that happen? Well, actually, it's not that unusual. You get into the high valleys in August, especially the further you get into August and you get dry air. One thing to remember about when the air is drier, when the air is drier, temperatures warm up and cool off more quickly as compared when there's a lot of humidity in the air. So the drier the air, the quicker those temperatures go up and down. That's why deserts can be so cold at night and so hot during the day. With the longer nights we're seeing and drier air moving into the region, you can see temperatures like you saw in western and northwestern Wyoming overnight and early this morning. So downright chilly in those areas. Taking a look at the satellite imagery, wanted to show you a couple things to highlight. See this and see this. This is tropical activity in the Pacific picking up. And we can still see some subtropical moisture here coming up as well. And if you were to take a look at the water vapor imagery, you can see Boy, some really deep water here and here with the tropical activity picking up in the eastern Pacific Ocean. But then also we see a tail of dry air, large part of very dry air out in the Pacific getting pushed into the region. But notice up here, the humidities are higher than they've been for a while. And here's a tongue of subtropical moisture getting further north now into the region. And this is something that over time is going to be drifting slowly northward. And this is what it looks like out in the eastern Pacific. We have Tropical Storm Kevin forming here, and we have a Tropical Depression 12E forming here as well. And when you get into August and September, you always got to watch these because they usually go up like this. Occasionally, if the pattern's right, they can sometimes curve in. Now, this is rare, this curve into the desert southwest, but it does happen. We've We've seen it happen before, but it's one of those about every 20 years or so is when they happen. But we always watch that as we get into August and early September to see if something tropical in the Pacific can curve into the southwestern United States. Out in the Atlantic, well, we're finally starting to see something right now. We have a little bit of a system right here developing, and our long-range modeling is showing this area here picking up in terms of potential hurricane activity in the next week or so. We talked about that yesterday and we're still seeing those signs. Now you may be saying, why is he talking about the Pacific and Atlantic tropical season when we live about as far away from the oceans as possible? Well, this is important because when you look at the big picture of how weather patterns evolve during the seasons, one thing that tends to happen when we get into this time of year, you do see tropical activity normally pick up. And here it is, the peak number of tropical storms and hurricanes tends to peak right around September 10th. So you can see right where we are right here. This is about when we should expect the hurricane and tropical storm activity to pick up. And that's exactly what's going on based on climatology. How does that fit in the Western United States? Well, I told you, showed you just a few slides ago about that potential for hurricanes in the Pacific to possibly curve into the Southwestern United States. Sometimes it happens, but also what we tend to see is we tend to see low pressure become a bit more common in the western and northwest United States in the latter half of August into early September, sort of a seasonal change. And I'm going to show you where that's showing up. And what leads to the confidence in this change is that the modeling is seeing the tropics heating up, 
with more tropical storm depressions and possible hurricanes later, that means there's likely going to be a shift in the weather across western North America. Now, this is where we are today. We've got a large area high, very strong high, right off the Pacific Northwest coast. And we have the upper level winds right like this. That's why the wildfire smoke is getting drawn right into the Rockies right now. But look what happens as we go forward. This is today. This is Friday. Friday, we still see the high pressure overhead. So it's a stagnant air mass. It's going to remain warm. The smoke is going to be trapped underneath this high pressure ridge. There's Kevin right down there. But look what happens as we go forward. Uh, before I get to that, I want to show you the smoke plumes. Then we'll get to that going forward. The smoke plume forecast for today shows it going on an east-west axis right here. Those Northern California fires getting drawn right into here. This is the residual smoke that's come in over the last few days. So this is today and this is Thursday. So you can see there's really only modest improvement in the smoke between today and Thursday. But as we go forward, wanted to show you this. This is by next Tuesday night and into Wednesday of next week. Well, there's several things to talk about here. Number one is the upper level wind pattern is going to change. So unless we see wildfires break out in Southern California, there should be a clearing out of the smoke and haze early to mid next week in this region here. So that's one thing that is likely going to happen. Some improvement with the smoke conditions. Look at this low over Washington and Oregon. Now that is a pretty potent low. How this all fits in the tropical discussion is, is that when you get into the middle latter half of August, you tend to see these systems more like this. Hurricanes and tropical storms are always drawn to areas of low pressure. So when you start getting low pressure in the western United States and high pressure in the southeastern United States, the table is set for the tropics to get going. With the lower pressure in the northwestern United States, well, the odds of it getting cooler and wetter go up, which is ultimately good news. Look at temperatures relative to average by next Thursday. Now, this is next Thursday. This is a model. As I love to tell you guys all the time, and I'll tell you all the time, a model is a tool. It's not reality. It's a tool, but it does show us that what we do see potentially with that large trough of low pressure coming into the northwest United States is a significant cool down for Washington, Oregon, Montana, Idaho, northern and northwestern areas of Wyoming, western Canada. This will help significantly with the wildfire mitigation. Having cooler temperatures, when you have cooler temperatures, you have higher relative humidity. And look at that higher relative humidity. This is by Tuesday of next week. So this is good news. There could even be precipitation in some areas of the Pacific Northwest. Look at up here in Canada. Look at Montana. Look at Idaho. This is going to help the wildfire situation undoubtedly. Even some showers and thunderstorms in the Sierras here in Northern California. Sometimes this isn't good because if you get lightning and wind and not a lot of rain, it causes more harm. But higher humidity air will move into Northern California as well. So there's actually some good news, not in the short term, but there's good news in the longer term. And then you're, here you can see that other monsoonal moisture plume starting to work its way back into the region. So, you know, we've got very little going on now, but as we get into next week and beyond, the weather is going to get a little bit more dynamic in the western United States. Have yourself a great Tuesday, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.